Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Nearness Academy. So guys, in our today's video, we are going to learn about the working of the fuel cells. Well, this particular fuel cell produces the electricity by using some sort of the chemical reactions by using the some sort of electrolytic solution. So over here, this particular fuel cell will be using an electrolytic membrane. It is not a certain type of the solution. So in this particular video, we are going to learn about this particular fuel cell. So let me tell you that fuel cell is not a new technology. Basically, this particular technology is used by NASA in the lunar vehicles by in the in the certain kind of lunar missions. So this is the uh, you know this is the this was the technology by used in NASA. Or else there is another technology that is nothing but the SOFC that is nothing but the solid oxide fuel cells. This is also the technology which is used by uh, NASA in the lunar missions basically. So today's video is nothing but the fuel cells so before going to today's topic uh, if you are new to my educational channel engineers academy please click on the subscribe button and please press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you will get instant notification so let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the working of the fuel cell its constructions and uh, its uh, <coughs> applications So guys, as we have seen in our previous video, that is nothing but the in case of hydrogen cars, the fuel cell plays a very important key role in the production of the electricity by using some sort of chemical reactions. So what actually happens in the case of fuel cells? So when I name that the fuel cells, it means there are n number of the cells which are present in a stack which generates electricity. So over here you can see this is the exploded view of the fuel cells. So now when we talk about a part, certain fuel cell, this particular fuel cell is nothing but the PEM that is nothing but the polymeric electrolytic membrane. So over here this particular polymeric electrolytic membrane is sandwiched between the anode and the cathode. So this particular PEM acts as an electrolyte. Now this particular anode and cathode, these two electrodes are uh, porous like the gas can pass through it. And, and uh, also this particular two electrodes are having a coating of platinum on it so that this particular platinum will act as a catalyst and that speeds up the chemical reactions so that was the overall uh, construction of this uh, uh, my fuel cell so now over here if we look at the this PEM that is the polymeric membrane this particular polymeric membrane is very thin it is around just like a piece of paper and it is like a made of certain organic materials and the thickness is in the microns and it can be of uh, the like the number of the sheets can be varied up, up to this 8 to 10 uh, number of the sheet just like a piece of paper so this particular pm that is my polymeric membrane that is just like an organic material this is made of the organic material so now so that was the overall uh, construction of the fuel cell now what actually occurs in a case fuel cell so when the hydrogen gas is like a uh, pass through the anode so when this particular hydrogen gas is passed through the anode the chemical reaction occurs at the anode and this particular hydrogen gas is having like the electrons are gets captured in this particular at anode and the protons okay of this hydrogen atoms hydrogen molecules are allowed to pass into the membrane of this uh, electrolytic membrane so over here at the anode there is a chemical reaction occurs and this particular electrons uh, that is the negatively charged atoms are gets captured at anode and only the positively charged protons are allowed to pass in the into towards the cathode from this uh, from membrane so over here this particular like the captured electrons are gets accumulated at the anode and then this particular uh, this particular electrons are sent back into the circuit by the means of the flow plates so over here these electrons are sent back to the circuit it means there is a flow of electrons that generates and this particular flow of electrons generates the electricity so when we like uh, we apply a certain load to that particular electric circuit like a bulb then actually bulb will glow 
so that is nothing but the electrons or as the flow of electrons which occurs at the anode so now what happens with the protons so this particular protons will get carried away towards the cathode from the membrane from the electrolytic membrane from the electrolytic membrane and this particular protons gets deposited towards the cathode so now what happens towards the at the cathode so at the cathode there is a flow of the oxygen from the external air now this particular oxygen is there at cathode and due to the catalyst which is present at cathode the chemical reaction occurs at the cathode itself and the formation of this particular hydrogen protons and the o2 so this particular uh, this leads to a generation of the h2o plus some sort of the electrons that liberates in the form of heat so this is nothing but the chemical reaction which occurs at the cathode and over here in the case of this particular fuel cell we will only get the hot water and the heat as a form of waste basically so this is the reason the hydrogen cars are nowadays more popular and nowadays it is more in demand so the overall over here it does not produce any kind of the harmful gases which does not like uh, <clears throat> which does not contaminate the environment so over here this hydrogen cars are 100% eco friendly due to the fuel cell so over here this is nothing but the overall my process of this particular fuel cell and the electricity which gets produced through through that particular fuel cell is again sent back to the uh, traction battery pack and it charges the traction battery pack so this is how actual production of the electricity occurs in the case of fuel cells so now this fuel cells uh, has been using in the lunar vehicles like nasa's lunar vehicles uses the sofcs as well as sofcs are nothing but the solid oxide fuel cells as well as this particular pem that is permanent electrolytic membranes and solutions so this kind of the fuel cell are been using in the in this lunar vehicles as there there is the like the limitations in the fuels and limitations from the uh, solar panels and everything so there they has to find this alternative ways in the production of the electricity so this is nothing but the overall working of this particular fuel cell so guys i hope you like my video if you having any doubts please do comment and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy your subscription will really motivates me to make more of such educational video thank you so much guys for watching this video